Hello everyone, we are back with a new feature on our auto clicker autofill extension which is Google Sheet. Now you can connect our extension with the Google Sheet and fetch data from your sheet and fill it in your form wherever you want. Myself Parmesh Patel, let's get started. Yeah, to start with auto clicker and connecting with Google Sheets, we have three steps. So first is to connect with Google Sheet. The second is the filling the Google Sheet ID into configuration setting and third one to get the cell value. So basically we require two scopes here which is reading the spreadsheet and the second one is user info profile. So both are required. Uh, the second one, first one is to read the data from your CSL and this is the only uh, least permission we can access for now. And the user info profile which we will show in the configuration page just to make sure uh, that you get it from which corner profile uh, it is fetching the sheets. So I am on my configuration page. Uh, it's a developer version. Currently it is available on dev and beta only and we will soon release on the stable version as well. So I will click on Google settings. Connect to Google sheet. So as I have already passed through all the process, so it's just connected easily. Okay. And the second step is getting the sheet ID. So I have already created, so I have created one test sheet ID. So I will just copy the sheet ID from here. Okay. And before that, let me create a configuration, quickly create a configuration. So I will go to my test page. I will click on auto clicker and I will name this as Google Sheets. So we will try with, okay. And st it started to recording. Okay, so I will say here as username, first name, last name, and email address. Okay, so yep, I think the configuration is quickly created. Just let me refresh and check if it works. So you see it, it automatically fills, and you can refresh here and so to see the Google Sheet is created okay uh, you can see that uh, it has created for test in google sheets and then it has created this all the values now what we need to do is we need to fill these values from our google sheet so what i will do is quickly i will go for google sheets and my sheet name is users you can see here so same we need to fill here also users question a1 and similarly i want to fill this for all one and i will change the column name from a to b c and d okay i just clicked out it and see that it saved successfully let's go to test page and see what happens let me quickly go to the configuration settings and see there is no sheet id here so as you can see that google sheets is null and it's trying to fetch from the sheet that's why it's throwing error so what we will do is we will quickly copy this come back to our configuration page and fill in the google sheet id here and let's go back to our test page and refresh now and see okay so you see this time it has filled the value from the sheet rather than uh, what we have hard coded it okay just to test this i will show you you can see the email address id is here but what we typed was email address that's we can confirm like it's fetching from the uh, google sheet here okay so what if i need to repeat between these rows so if you want to repeat this all values Without refreshing the page, you can make use of the batch repeat. Let me come back to the configuration page. And here, instead of one, I will write it as batch repeat. Okay, same goes here, same goes here, and same goes here. And I will say three times with two seconds of interval. And let's go back to our configuration and refresh and see. Okay, it has filled first time, second time, 
and third time you can see it has plus one so it basically like uh, one it by default it runs and we have so we have type three so it's basically three more times okay so done uh, similarly we can do for whatever wherever we want okay now there is a different scenario like for example uh, if we need to submit the page uh, once you fulfill and how in that case we will not be able to use the batch repeat so for that purpose we will use the session count so we have created uh, that in a different way so i will go for google forms okay so i have created one test form here okay so it names test then we have one test uh, name test one and test two and then the submit button so I will go to preview this form so I will create a configuration for this form okay and in the input field I will say input or we can just inspect copy and paste it here so I will do the same for you so right click inspect and this input will right click copy copy xpath and let me go back to configuration and i will say here google sheets users a1 okay similarly for second input field also inspect right click copy copy xpath okay and this time from the google sheet b and then third one is the submit form right click inspect right click inspect copy copy xpath and leave this field as blank as we need to click on that and for this is i need to submit so there is no role of batch so i will simply hide this batch section okay and one more thing for the google forms go to configuration setting and set it to window mode this is important also we need to fill the sheet id so this is my test um, sheet id only so i'm just copying from here you need to copy from your sheet okay so let's see if it fills and submit the form so i will add some two seconds here just to see like it's facing the value and filling the form okay coming back to the form refresh this you see first name last name it filled and it hit it submit so next we will create for this also copy form response and right click this inspect right click copy copy xpath here and leave it blank that's it okay now it will go in a loop it will not go in a loop as we have set the fixed value a1 so we need to change this into session count okay same way for b also so what it did it will do is it will pass the sheet and it will start continuing filling this all the values until it don't find any new for the value so let me refresh this and show you how it will work okay it has filled the first one it submitted second one Dharmesh okay it will keep on going until it don't find any new value that is after 14 through it will stop because there is no values in the 14th one uh, let me continue this and it will show the error here like yep so uh, once it fills and it forms if you want to start from one again you just have to copy this close this form open in a new tab and hit it again so it will start filling from one again you can see first value 
second value it starts again so whenever you want to start from fresh again you just paste it in a new tab yep so that's it about those three things still it's in dev and beta only it is not in stable version yet so you can test it around and you can let us know if you find any issues in this thank you and let me go to slide and see what else we have yeah so i have written this all it's a not batch count it's a session count okay and thank you so much